Hey there, friends, Nibs again. Out here in the garage, a little bit of goofing around tonight, and uh, I wanted to do a <laughs> what I think is going to be a really cool head to head challenge for you guys. Um, <clears throat> I have a an old Daisy against, uh, well, quote unquote, you could call it a Crossman. Uh, this is actually Crossman's first endeavor into BB guns, as far as I can tell. Um, but what we have here is a PY Han super repeater, and uh, this is a lever action uh, BB CO2 powered BB repeater, and uh, <clears throat> has a magazine up here in the top. You pull that uh, spring-loaded clip back over here and lock it back, and then you load your BBs into this hole right here, and it'll hold 25 or 30. <clears throat> Not sure exactly how much CO2 is left in this guy, but uh, it was shooting good before I started the video up, so hopefully it'll have enough to give us a uh, performance here. <laughs> but uh, that one, these were made in the, this, this one says patent pending on it, so it is an early one, but it does, it, those were made in the early 60s, and uh, somewhere in, I believe in the mid Mid 60s to late 60s, they actually switched over to the Crossman name, I believe. I've never seen one of those, but uh, we're going to be putting it head to head up against one of my uh, new pickups, which is I'm just totally enthused by the condition of this old time Daisy Red Rider. This is a number 111 model 40, <clears throat> and uh, by the different uh, parts on this, I could tell that this one was made sometime between 1947 and 1949. Um, in uh, the earlier versions, which would have looked just like this, except for it would have had a different uh, cocking handle. The cocking handle started out as a cast iron piece I actually have uh, one here I can show you guys. If I can get it out of here without knocking stuff down. But this is my, not nearly in nice shape, but this is my uh, model 100, or number 100, model 36. And this one does have the cast iron cocking lever. Um, this is a really good shooting gun. It's uh, pretty beat up. Definitely got a lot of patina compared to this compared to this Red Rider, but uh, she's a good shooting gun and she earned a place up on the rack. So, but the uh, the Red Rider has got this this one's got a an aluminum cocking lever, and the aluminum cocking lever came out in 1947, and then in 1950 they started replacing this wood foregrip with a plastic one and then they would not have the metal barrel band around here. The earlier ones also would have copper barrel bands here and copper instead of steel for the uh, front sight <clears throat> and front wrap there. But uh, I have both of these loaded up with uh, some good BBs. So we'll give them both a fighting chance. I've got the Daisy match grade uh, BBs. So let's see what we can do. I don't know if I can hit the <laughs> splatter burst with the, either one of these, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Let's uh, go ahead and this one's definitely <laughs> the newer arrival to the garage. I've only had it for less than a week. I've had that Han for a while now. Uh, definitely uh, a lot longer than, than this, so. just do five shots with each and we'll add them up and whichever one does better that will be the winner Ooh, that one just barely made it onto the splatter burst that's better three that's 
Ooh, nice looking group actually coming together there, except for that one. All right, that's that is not bad. <laughs> that is not bad at all. So that's five shots with the old timer Red Rider. Now let's go ahead and see what we can do with the Han BB repeater, super repeater. <laughs> Certainly a whole lot easier to shoot this guy, even though it requires CO2. Ooh. I wasn't shooting it that good when I was I was playing around with both of these a little bit beforehand and practicing. Alright, well, that's looking pretty promising. I'm gonna guess the Han one, but uh, let's add the, those scores up and uh, see what this total is. So stand by and I'll add those up. Alrighty, I am back and actually it was a lot closer than I had originally an anticipated, but uh, the, the Han did win by one point. Could have been two. Uh, I won one of the shots with the Han could have been a 10 or I counted it as a 9 <clears throat> but it was right on the edge of being a 10 so but uh, what we ended up with was uh, the this was an 8 up here and then we had two 9s and two 10s for the Daisy which is really good shooting for one of those lever action BB guns for sure uh, but the and it and it grouped a whole lot better, but so we had, this was a nine, this was a nine, and uh, this one was a 10, this one was a 10. That one could have been a 10. It's really a judgment call. I, I don't think it broke the line, but it, it, very, it was very close. So I counted that one as a nine as well. Um, so we ended up with uh, uh, 47 for the, for the Han. <clears throat> but uh, man, what what good shooting from both of these two guns! <laughs> I uh, have a lot of fun shooting, you know, my pellet guns out in longer distances. But it's so much fun to be out here just shooting these BB guns too, and uh, especially when you got a couple of real old classics like these two. Um, I mean, this one's old. This one's really old. <laughs> uh, they're not that far apart, though. Only. 10, 11 years old, 10, 10, 11 years apart, 12 years apart maybe. So that's not too bad as far as uh, time goes. But the Han takes a win. I'm not sure, I haven't been really keeping track of all its wins, but uh, I've definitely done a couple of other head-to-head -head challenges with it. Um, <clears throat> but we'll be doing some more. It's starting to become winter. Be doing a lot more out here in the garage now that it's becoming winter. Um, on more decent days, I'll get over to that longer garage and do some more shooting in there as well. But uh, uh, expect to see a lot more here in the garage, a lot more pistol shooting coming up for sure. But uh, there you go. Hope you guys liked the video. Till next time, have a great day.